Hi guys, in today's video I want to review for you, or really share with you because it's my favourite, the Garnier BB Cream. It is the oil-free one in shade Light and I have been using this for years and years and years and I don't know why I didn't make this my first ever YouTube video because I love this stuff. I've tried loads of other BB creams and foundations and I always end up coming back to this one basically so I thought I would share it with you and show you what it's like going on and blah 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 so this is what it looks like it has it's in a nice actually cardboard package so it's recyclable um and also it's got an spf of 25 in it and hyaluronic acid that i can never say um it is 50 milliliters and it's around seven pounds at the moment it's for something on amazon normally it's you know it varies between four and ten pounds basically depending on where you're shopping or what time you're shopping um but i get this in shade light it this i really struggle to find things that are light, light enough for my skin tone i've got a bit of a tan at the moment so it's not as bad as it normally is but most of the time anything like the medium or even actually even the light one in this but not the oil free oil free version is too dark for me it looks too orange on me despite it being light and the same brand it's a completely different color so this is the perfect color for me i think you'll probably tell me otherwise but i'll just swatch it for you quick so that is the color of it um, and I shall show you and put some on my face. Um, but it's a really nice, like it's not too runny. It's also not too thick, like, so putting it on, I often just put it on with my fingers to be fair, but I'm trying to train myself to use a makeup brush because apparently it makes it go on better. And I'm liking this brush actually, it's the Zoeva um, foundation brush. I'll review it in a separate video, but so far I'm enjoying it like it goes on pretty well with this brush see it's a it's supposed to be well it's a BB cream so it's obviously supposed to be like a fairly light coverage but for me it does exactly what it says on the tin like it blurs my skin and as you can see I've got quite sort of red skin it, so it needs something like otherwise I just look a bit sort of ruddy and he, I've tried and I'll do another video actually comparing the two and I might stand corrected when I do that video but I've tried the um what's it called L'Oreal Say Magique um anti-redness one and again I still come back to this one despite it not actually being an anti-redness um BB cream but it just it's the only like it feels nice it's not too heavy on the skin it doesn't feel like I've got like makeup on as such like you can just literally rub it on with your hands like moisturizer I mean obviously you then need to wash your hands <laughs> but like and that's actually one of the main reasons why I'm trying to learn to put it on by with a brush because otherwise it's like awkward having to try and wash your hands in between I'm not sure why that's awkward <laughs> but for some reason when I'm on holiday and my boyfriend's in the bathroom and I'm trying to do my makeup and then I have to like I need to wash my hands I find that really irritating <laughs> so <laughs> I'm trying to find solutions for that and you know like when you go camping or whether you don't want to have to be going all the way back to the toilet to wash your hands <laughs> now I say it out loud I realize what a first world problem that is <laughs> but <laughs> it's just <laughs> one of those things anyway so it goes on with your fingers or you know with a bb whatever not a bb a beauty blender what is a bb a beauty blender um or a brush whatever works for you like i'm probably putting on more now than i need to um just to kind of show you that you can build it up but like it for me i think it blends perfectly into my skin and it's not too heavy which is basically everything i want from a, a foundation like this is I use this for, for foundation like you know day to day and for going out um in the evening so it's never you know I never wear anything really any heavier than this I'm just putting too much on now but <laughs> um I just want to kind of show you how you can build it up but I would probably not normally put this much on but equally you can blend it in so easily that if you feel like you've put too much on you can just blend it until you're back to where you feel comfortable with. So 
see it gives just a nice luminous glow I think which is why I like BB creams because they're sort of moisturize at the same time as give you coverage so you don't end up with you know like looking sort of too stark or matte like obviously I've filled in my lips so I look a bit odd and normally I would now go like around with like a this probably isn't ideal but like a sort of bit of tissue to just get make sure it's out of my hairline there's probably better things to do this with, but I always use a bit of tissue so that it's not in the hairline. And then same for my sort of eyebrows, although you can obviously just do this with a um, Q-tip or a cotton bud or something. And same for my lips, just to sort of get rid of the, you know, it's too dark. Really, it's sticking to me today for some reason. <laughs> And then just kind of brush over it lightly again to to bring the colour back. <laughs> Otherwise, you've you know literally wiped it off, so you need to be careful of that. But see, look immediately that has like fixed my whole like redness and you know given me just a nice light to medium coverage without looking too heavy and stark. I mean, obviously now I'd need to do the rest of my makeup, <laughs> which I will go and do. But like. Um, the actual product itself is brilliant, basically. Like, I can't rave about it enough. The colour is perfect for me. Like, I didn't need to use that much. Then, like, that was just one squirt. Um, you know, like, a normal sort of pump size amount. Um, and then that's gone on with a brush. And I put, like, way more than I needed to on then, to be fair, just because it was on my hand <laughs> and I was talking to you, so I just kept going. But, like, you don't hardly need any, really. Just, like, maybe one pump's worth if it were to be in a pump, you know what I mean? Like, that, like, like a pea's worth amount. Um, and that sort of, sort of just gives you a nice, even skin tone. Like, it literally just blurs everything together, basically. So, yeah, that is my favorite foundation bb cream all time have been using it for years would recommend that you look it up and try it. especially if you've got pale um skin like me and you've struggled to find things that are pale enough for your skin tone then i would definitely say that this is the way forward so yeah thanks for listening if you've liked this video in any way please like and subscribe if you want me to do any other types of videos then please let me know um and that's it